those that don't know me, I'm Jeff Kowalski. I've been with HT for a little over 16 years now. And when I first looked at this business, um, actually I didn't look at the business, I looked at the product. And I tried to prove that the Qi machine didn't work because it sounded too good to be true. And after two weeks of using it, I was sold on the Qi machine, so I got pretty excited. And I started telling people about the Qi machine. And because I was so passionate, and I already knew a lot of people that had health problems, we were able to move. Um, back then, we only had two machines, the Qi machine and the hot house. I only bought the Qi machine. In the first month, I sold about 10 or 11 Qi machines to 10 or 11 distributors. But then I immediately started working with them. And between me, my sales, and my group sales with my other distributors, we had 64 Qi machines sold in the first month which means we actually made manager in 30 days. And my goal was to make president in three months because I had heard that somebody had done that. And that was one of the questions I think you asked, Cody. How fast had anybody ever done it? And it was Beverly Grigsby, I think, had made it in three months. So I thought, you know what? If she can do it, I can do it. So I went for it, and three months went by, and I was close, but I wasn't there. I said, I'll make it in four months. Didn't make it in four months, but I made it in five months. So I made president from you know nothing to president in, in five months. And that's the equivalent of uh, over 400 Qi machines, because we only had Qi machines in hot house back then. So um, what I'd like to share with you today is first I'll share with you the marketing plan, how it all works in, in detail, and then I'll share with you um, probably this, hopefully the simplest, easiest way for you to accomplish that, because the rewards are phenomenal. If, if you like to help people, you like to watch them get better with their health, you can earn a lot of money. So I tell people, first of all, you have to focus on people, solve problems, and the money will follow. So with that, we'll start with uh, the first handout, which I gave you is called the HTE Compensation Plan. And in the compensation plan, like uh, Peter talked, there's 40% commission plus 14% leadership. Uh, bonus benefits, which equals 54%. So we can earn up to 54% um, once we reach the top in this business. Then there's uh, override bonuses, present bonus. Uh, this is a breakdown of the 40, uh, 54%. Uh, PRC growth bonus, super uh, supreme president bonus, and business fund. And so I'm going to kind of go through this quickly, and we can open up for questions um, probably at the end. So. Within the comp plan, there's three, three ways to earn four main features in five different levels. Um, first of all, the three ways to earn sales commission. So when you start off, um, you will start to earn 15% on the BBP. That's as a distributor. And you, the, to do that, it says how to become a distributor. So you can, you can earn from 15% up to 40% in the basic plan. And so how do you become a distributor? You purchase at least one machine that has at least 45 points. So you could legally become a distributor with our company by purchasing only one machine, like the Qi machine. And then you pay the distributorship <coughs> fee, and now you're qualified as a distributor to earn commissions on all future purchases and or sales. So, so as, a, as an example, if you were to buy more than one machine, it's to your benefit to become a distributor because you'll get a commission back on machine number two, machine number three, or machine number four. Um, and once you uh, qualify with one purchase of one machine, you're actually qualified for life. You don't have to requalify every month or every year. There is a membership renewal that occurs once a year and the company will send you a letter and say, do you want to renew? And then as long as you pay that renewal, you will still keep your status. If you uh, lapse in, in renewing and there's sales made below you, you will lose the commission of those sales if you don't renew your membership. If there's no sales made, you didn't miss anything. So um, if you renew after, the, you know, say, you re, say, say your, your term comes up, it's one year and you don't renew. And then six months later you decide, hey, I want to renew because I just made a sale. Great. You call the company, you renew and you're still at whatever level that you were at before you actually lapsed in time. Which, I can tell you this, I've had a lot of experience with other companies, and if you don't keep your renewal up, once you lapse, you usually go back down to nothing. Um, also, um, 
in this plan, once you reach higher levels, you don't lose those levels. And I've been with, like I said, a lot of our companies, and you reach a level, and if you don't keep maintaining that volume, you'll start to drop back down. With HT, once you reach a level, you've, you're locked in for life, which is incredible. Um, so the business volume, BVP is business volume points, and it's assigned to each product. So every product has business volume points. Like the Chi machine has a business volume point, the, the hot house, the soaky bed, to, is a whole group will have business volume points. And basically, um, like Peter said, the BVP, BVP times 15 here in Canada is accurate on the sheet. We get paid in the US a little bit less. We get BVP times 10. So if, if I were to live in Canada, I'd actually make more money. <laughs> <laughs> but then if I try to take that money back to the U.S. right now, the <laughs> currency isn't so good. So, <laughs> um, so what are the advantages of becoming a distributor? You earn 15% commission on personal sales, and then you generate BVP to reach the next level. So to reach the next level would be the supervisor position. And to reach the supervisor position, you're going to need uh, basically 360 additional points. So here's an example. Once you reach a level, let's say you're a brand new distributor you get, and you only buy one chain machine, great. You now become a distributor, your points go back to zero because now you need 360 more points to get to supervisor. Once you get to supervisor, your points go back to zero, but you maintain that level, and then you need an additional 2,475 points to get to manager. Once you reach manager, then it goes back to zero. Then you need, um, I think it's four, well, we'll get to that, 14,000 something. Yeah. So we'll get to that. So there's override bonuses, which means the difference in sales commission between levels. So as an example, once you, you first have to get to supervisor position before you can start to get override bonuses. That means you're at a higher level than the people below you. Um, and growth bonuses are paid to people like let's pretend you made supervisor and then you help someone else make supervisor that means you're both at the same level now so there's no income left right well the company kicks in a growth bonus so that you can get paid on people that reach the same level as you which is really nice because otherwise you're going to lose an incentive to help people get to your level right um, so the, mo the four main features are there's no monthly volume required after the initial purchase which in every other company I've ever been involved with, you have to buy X amount, like usually between $50 and $150 every month, otherwise you're not getting your bonus. In our company, you don't have to purchase anything every month. It's wonderful. Um, it's easy to achieve qualifications on different levels, and again, like I said before, once you reach a level, you retain it for life. And then in addition to the 40% commission, there's an additional 14% leadership bonus once you reach the president level. So. To simplify, there's five levels. There's a distributorship, supervisor, manager, president, and then there's supreme president. At the supreme president level, you've helped other people become presidents underneath you. So as an example, um, I became a president in five months, and then I started helping my people to develop into presidents. And in the last 16 years now, I've got over 50 presidents in my organization, which is a substantial amount of people because each one of them had to sell the equivalent in their group of at least over 500 chi machines or 400 something you know but we don't sell chi machines anymore we sell everything and so you got to think back when I started it was actually more difficult to become a president than it is now because we only had two machines now a lot of times I sell four machines or I sell soaky beds and as Peter was saying you can advance much quicker, and you, people can advance much quicker when you're promoting more than just one machine. So think about this. If we could become presidents with, with just a Chi machine a hot house in three to five months, what could you do with the Soki beds? I mean, you could do it in one or two months. It, it's possible. It would be a stretch, but it's possible. Um, so again, we already talked about BVP that's assigned each product and you get commission based on each BVP. When, when Peter was talking about like 225 and a dollar something and 60 cents, that was for each point. So if, when, when you're talking about how much you're making per point, 
then multiply that times the points of that machine. So you're not making 60 cents on a cheap machine, you're making 60 cents times the 30 points per machine if you're a president and that person's 10 levels down below you or something like that. So I want to make sure that it's clear. You're, you're making many, many dollars on each machine when you're way up here and you've got to sail 10 levels down. Or, you know, it can be, sometimes it can be infinitively down. Um, so uh, right now, in general, the, uh, the, the Soki bed has 345 points attached to it, but there's different packages of beds now, so I don't want you to lock in at the, every bed's 345. The, the hot house, the regular size hot house has 80 points attached to it, but the bigger one has 90 points attached to it. Um, but then again, these points are based on the total points when I first got in the business, and they've actually lowered the price of the machine since I've gotten in business. So then they had to lower the, the, the paid on points a little bit. So we still get the total amount of points, but we get paid on a little bit lower points because we've lowered the price to because basically back in 2008 and 2009, a recession had occurred, and then people were realizing that, you know what, um, some people couldn't afford the machines, at least they said they couldn't. I don't buy that. These machines are worth 10 times more than I've ever paid. Like I said yesterday, if I could not replace my cheap machine or my hothouse, and you offered me a million bucks, you wouldn't get them. So the value of these things to me are more than any price the company ever put on them. But the company looked at the environment and looked at the economy and said, okay, we'll lower the price back in 2009. And they did that and they've actually pretty much kept those prices the same since then. So you guys are getting these machines cheaper than I was able to get them over 16 years ago, which is phenomenal. And because you're in Canada, you can even make more money than I made in the States. <laughs> So again, every machine has points attached to it, and, and those will change slightly based on if there's a special or something like that where they where they've lowered the points a little bit or up them a little bit. Um, so again, to recap, to become a distributor, it takes 45 points. To become a supervisor, it takes 360. And to become a manager, it takes 2,475. So let me just um, take an example here and um, uh, let's see, Phyllis, would you like to come up here real quick and just stand next to me? And I want to show people um, how the business works with, with having people. I mean, it's, it's going to be kind of vague, but it'll, it'll be clear. One second. So Phyllis has become a manager, okay? In fact, Cody, why don't you come up here and stand next to Phyllis? And Cody is Phyllis's son. So I met Cody, I forget how many years ago, and Cody and I started working together and helped him build his business. And then Cody became a president. And then Cody sponsored his mom in, in, that, in that group of people. And she became a manager. And then, and then um, there's, there's two ladies in the back, both um, Paula and Donna. Why don't you guys come up? Come on, come on up. You can come on. Film. And, and both of you guys are both supervisors, I believe, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so, so Phyllis sponsored both of these two ladies, and both of them have become supervisors because they both bought <laughs> beds and, and, and a multiple machine. So basically you've got a, you've, and then you've got me. So basically I'm a president next to Cody. Cody's a president. Then we've got a manager. We've got two supervisors. And then, of course, there's lots of people here in the group that are distributors. So what happens when you start building your group, it's not just what you do, but it's what you and your entire group does. So like under me, there's many, many, many thousands and thousands of people all across US and Canada that I don't even know. So when your group starts to grow that fast, it's exciting because you don't even it's know most. most of them because it's all about sharing, sharing, sharing. So I just want to kind of show, show like a family, so to speak. And you, you know what? You become part of a family with HTE. Mm -hmm. we, we work together. We play together. We, we have fun together. We go on trips together. I mean, ever since I've been involved, there has been at least one, sometimes two trips per year that I've won for myself and sometimes for my entire family. So, like we just came back from the cruise in the Bahamas just two weeks ago. Um, eight months ago, was it? Eight or ten months ago, we were in Taiwan. Taiwan yes. And with a nice group of people. I'm telling you, 
you just have a blast and you really you really connect and a lot of these people that are in the group were were some a lot of more Cody was with us at the last group and, and his wife and, and your and your daughter was there. So basically their whole family went to Taiwan with, and so they're part of my group. So I, I think half the bus was part of my group. We, I say bus because we got a lot of tours we took throughout the country. And and you really get to bond with people. So you get to know people and, and, and life is really about serving. And and I'll talk about that later. But um, if you can serve humanity in some way, shape, or form, you've accomplished what you came here for. And so it, it doesn't have to be, I mean, HT can be a part of that, but you can serve in your communities in different ways too. But for me, my passion has now been serving people and getting them healthier, and then getting them wealthier. So I always, my, if you ever call me up, my message says, health comes first, wealth comes next, we can help in both areas. <laughs> <laughs> I've only gotten one complaint from one person that I don't think I don't know was was a negative person about my comment on my on my voicemail. You know, it's like everyone else just loves it. You know, yeah, health comes first. It's important. I mean, if you don't have your health, I don't care if you got a million bucks in the bank, it isn't going to do any good. So we want to make sure you get your health first, then comes the wealth. So we're talking all about the wealth part here today. Um, so so as Peter was explaining, to become a manager. You're going to need 2,475 points, which is the equivalent of about 64 chi machines, if you want to put it in perspective. But you need to help two other people get to the supervisor level. So if I want, for me to become a manager that first month, we had 64 chi machines sold, but I had two people that each had about nine chi machines in their group. So there was a supervisor over here and a supervisor over here, and they had all their little sales underneath them, and boom, I made manager immediately the first of the next month. So how this works is you become distributors instantly the second it happens, you become supervisors instantly the second you achieve the points, you become manager the first of the following month after you achieve the points. So you can achieve the points in the middle of the month, but you'll get promoted to manager at the first of the next month. But they'll allow you to keep accumulating those points in the meantime towards your next level of president. So you never want to slow down just because you reach a level because you're going to keep kind of continuing getting the points. By the way, if there's anything I say incorrectly, Peter, interrupt me and clarify because I, I try to get everything as accurate as possible. Um, once you become a president, there um, to become a president, the simple way to do this is you need four managers. So. For me, it was very simple for me to become a manager. I did it in 30 days, like I said. So I'm thinking, okay, if I can become a manager in 30 days, I should sure be able to help four other people become managers. They might not be able to do it in 30 days, but the faster I can get four people to become managers, the faster I'll make president. So what I did is, um, I call it sorting. You need to bring in a lot of people that become distributors because not everybody's going to become a manager. It becomes a numbers game. And, and as long as you know the numbers and you keep working the system, you'll eventually get there because there's no time limit. We used to have a time limit. When I got in, if we missed our time limit and we didn't make a level by a certain time, we started losing points. Yep. We got the company to change that. So I'm just saying, you, the, the plan has gotten better and better and better over the years so that it be, it's become easier and easier to achieve higher levels. We used to have a time limit to become a, man, to become a manager and also become a president, and there were some frustrated people because they were so close, but they couldn't quite make it, and then they started losing these points. That doesn't exist anymore. There's no time limit. It's absolutely incredible. Almost our companies are still set up that way where you don't make that level, down, down, down you go, you get defeated, and then out the door you go. So you could take six months to become a president. You could take six years. So it's a lot more exciting doing it in six months, I'll tell you that, <laughs> than take six years. But you could. I'm just saying you could take as long as you need to become a president. So um, basically, I had to bring in, and I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you numbers here, but my numbers were I brought in between 12 and 15 distributors, and I started working with them. And out of that 12 to 15 distributors, I, I found four people that wanted to work this business. And 
Out of those four people, we help them become managers. And then once I helped those four become managers, I became a president. You can also sponsor your spouse in this business as a leg, and you can help them grow into the business and help them make sales, and they will count as one of your four legs. So my wife was actually one of my four legs, and I helped her become a manager, and then after I became a president, she, by the way, she doesn't do the business. I did the business for her. <laughs> so she's got her own career, and um, she loves her career, So, but she's part of the business because I not only did she become manager, well then over the next few, six, eight, ten months, or a couple of years, she actually became a president. <laughs> and then she ended up having presidents underneath her because I kept working the whole group of people. So my wife's, a, you know, she, does, she doesn't even know what she is. She doesn't care. <laughs> but she's a president and she's got presidents for <laughs> But she likes the checks that come in, eh? Well, actually, I cash those. <laughs> I, I cash those and then it, 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 it works out just fine. She doesn't care because if, you know, we share everything. So, it, you know, it doesn't matter. But I do cash the business checks that come in her name. <laughs> um, so then the next level is, um, we're not going to go into a lot of detail, the next level is once you become a president, then you get paid on all your entire organization infinitively deep, okay? And then the next goal is to develop other people into presidents. So there's no personal volume ever required even after you become a president. You still get paid on all your people. But once you, but once, so as an example, when Cody was up here, he's a president below me. And so once you get a president below you, it's called a breakaway president. So Cody then kind of like he's part of my group, but he's got his own group. So they call it a breakaway president. So that means at that point, after he breaks away, I've still got one month where I don't have to have any special volume in my organization to get paid on Cody. The second month after he becomes a president, I have to make sure that my entire group and me have at least 500 points for me to get paid on Cody. Okay, So that's the only time a requirement comes in. Cody doesn't have to have a requirement. He can do as little or as much as he wants to. So I'm hoping he does a zillion sales, you know, because I'm getting paid like 4% on his entire organization once he's a president. And then if I develop another president, which I've done, I get another 4% on that president and their entire organization. And then if I develop another one, I get another 4%. Now, if those three qualify, that's what you call becoming a supreme president, where you've got three qualified presidents underneath you, and then they kick in another 1.5% um, on each of those presidents. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've got presidents moving 500,000, 2,000, 3,000 points a month, and you get an extra 1.5% on them, it's a lot of change, folks. <laughs> it's a lot of change. Um, and because now they're running their business, and you're running yours, so you're not only making money on your organization, the people you're working with, but you're making money on the people that you've trained. So it's kind of like, um, how would you like to um, own a McDonald's? I mean, I, you know, I, don't, I don't believe in McDonald's food, but I'm just <laughs> pretend you, you own a McDonald's. So that's your little group. But what if you were the franchisee where you could franchise out additional stores to all over the world? So now you're the main one, but you've got additional franchisees that are pumping out hamburgers every day, and you're getting a little piece of every hamburger that goes out every day, and you've got 30, 40, 50 stores. Well, think of that as me. I've got 50 presidents that are like pumping out machines every month, so then I've got a very lucrative check coming in every month because of that. So that's the that's what I'm saying is this is not a small business. This is this can be huge. So not only can we sponsor people in the United States, in Canada, in Mexico, we can also do it in Europe through the Australian office. And all those checks and money comes back to wherever you're located. So you can be a distributor here in Canada or a distributor in, in the US and then you're, you're already everywhere else that we, that we actually service people. And like as an example, every month I get a Canadian check, 
every month I get a U.S. check. I just tell the company to hold my check and transfer it when it gets over so many thousand dollars because there's always a fee to transfer money. And it's like, I don't want to waste money on fees. It's like, why? I don't need to have that that thousand dollars come to me every month. I can I can wait three, four, five months. So I've been able to do that. So the next is, you know, once you get up there, you get a little. You, you work with the company. And they'll they'll work with you. They'd probably rather hang on to my money and then just pay me once every six months in a bigger check, and then they can use that money. Because I don't. I, I, I'm just very frugal. I don't want to waste money on 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 banking fees. In fact, I did this with Canada. I just I called Canada. And says the the bank has now charged me twenty bucks every time I cash a Canadian check. I said I don't like that. So hold my checks for till the end of the year. They said, okay. So now they're going to pay me a huge check at the end of the year, and I'll pay one $20 yeah. check yeah. deposit fee. <laughs> so, I mean, again, you know, it's, it's like when you're doing this business, I'm not living from paycheck to paycheck, folks. You know what I mean? So I don't need the Canadian checks. I'm, I'm living off the U.S. checks. You know, and I don't need the European checks. I'm living off the U.S. checks. So I can, I can do that. So that's an advantage. I mean, this business has allowed us to become totally debt-free in the first 10 years of being in the business. I mean, everything's been paid off. So now, taxes are what I pay for, insurance, you know, and fun, and vacations, and trips, and things like that. Um, which is, it's great to be able, at a point where you don't have to, money is not an issue anymore. You don't have to worry about money. I mean, I'm still very conservative when it comes to spending money because I don't believe in wasting money. And, I mean, if I walk down the street and I see a penny down there, I'll pick it up. You want to know something? The person that walks down the street and sees a nickel or a quarter and doesn't pick it up is one that doesn't value money. Okay? If you think you're too good to pick up that, that little coin, then you know what? The universe might say to you, well, if he doesn't want that little bit, I'm not going to give him more. So I've learned this in all my teaching that when, when things come to you, be thankful for it. If somebody gives you a gift, say thank you. Because because everybody, if, if somebody's offering you something, they feel bad if you say, no, 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 I can't take that. No, accept it. Accept it as a gift. They want to give that to you. Um, when you look at other people with money, think good towards them. Don't think bad thoughts, because if you think bad thoughts towards a wealthy person, how are you going to become wealthy? You want to think good thoughts towards them. In fact, hang around positive, wealthy people if you can. Usually most wealthy people, most of them are probably pretty positive and they're willing to talk to you and share things too. I mean, if you want to get wealthy, do what the wealthy people do. They run successful businesses, most of them. And we've got a, we have an opportunity here that is unlike any other. If you went around and asked 100 people, the next 100 people, strangers that you see, have you ever heard of a Chi machine, you might find you might find three or four out of a hundred that have heard of a machine machine, maybe. So that means 97% of the people out there have never heard of a machine machine. And I'd be willing to bet 98% of the people have never heard of a hot house. And I'd be willing to bet 99% have never heard of a soaky bed. So the opportunity is everywhere. And my friend Bob Nelson, who is my sponsor, said this to me. He said, you know something, Jeff? He said, pain never takes a vacation. So that means I don't care what the economy is like, your business can continue to grow. My, my personal business through the recession continued to grow, but some of my leaders bought into the idea that we have a recession and people can't afford it, so their business slowed down, okay? My business didn't. So because I had so many presidents that believed that the recession caused them to have less sales, then that actually affected my paycheck, but not what I had control of. So what I'm saying is you have total control of your thoughts and how you proceed in business. And I, I think Don, uh, Donna back there would, would agree, right? I mean, it's, it's all up here. You've got, you've, got one, you've got a wonderful golf course here. You've got, you go to Florida, or no, California, for six months out of the year. I mean, you know, we're here to experience life in every way, shape, or form we can. And you have to, to be able to do that, you have to have a certain amount of income to do that. So if you can find a vehicle, whether it be our vehicle or another vehicle that you can get passionate about and make that your vehicle to get everything that you need to be able to experience life, 
it's it's like it's wonderful. Kind of like the movie The Wonderful Life. It's a wonderful <laughs> life. <laughs> All right. Um, so the 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 difference between levels. Um, I like to explain that. So pretend um, I'm a manager, and pretend Betty, you are a supervisor below me. Now that means I'm going to earn 32% if I make a personal sale, but Betty, if you make a sale or you buy a machine, I'm going to make 32% minus your 24%, um, uh, which leaves me with 8%. See how that works? And then you're going to make 24% if you make a personal sale. Now, if you, as a, as a uh, supervisor, uh, make a sale, it's 24%. But then if one of your downline that's a distributor makes a sale, they're making 15%. So you're going to make 24% minus the 15%, which equals another nine. eight or nine. nine. Yeah, whatever it is, eight or nine. <laughs> I always tell people, you know, you don't have to know it all to be successful. <laughs> you just have to want to help people and keep working with people. Um, Beverly Grigsby, who made president in three months, didn't even know how the comp plan worked. All she did was start helping all of her elderly friends get healthier, and, and she just happened to bring in enough people, and the right amount of people became the right levels, and boom, she made it. And all of a sudden, she's like, wow. Beverly Grigsby? Yeah. I think she was between 65 and 70 when she became president, wasn't she, Peter? <laughs> I, I don't know her. You know, you yeah, know her. yeah I, I think she was something that, yeah. but, but, but she attracted a lot of elderly people who had health problems. Mm -hmm. And see, um, that's one of the slight, I mean, I, I, I like to tell the truth about everything, okay? So there's good and bad about our business. One thing that's good for the clients is they buy one machine or two machines, or three machines, or four machines, or the bed, they're set for life. You know, I'm not going to sell them three, four cheap machines over their life period. They're probably going to get that one. They're going to be, it's going to last them a lifetime. So that's good for them, but not so good for me, because I don't have a repeat sale on machines. Okay? So I need to constantly, as a distributor, bring in new people. But now we've got a couple of consumables, the Go Green, the Enzymes, the Beta Low, which are repeatable products. So if we can show people, like I showed you yesterday, the power of those products, we've now got some consumable things where people need to consume every month, so now we've got a residual income coming from that, and then we keep growing the business through other people. Um, and it works really well that way. So basically, you're going to get paid as a president on all the different levels of people underneath you. As a manager, you're going to get paid on the different levels of beneath you. And as a supervisor, you're going to get paid on the different levels of people below you. So we're going to jump over to the next, next one, and uh, the growth bonus. This is what I talked about a little bit earlier, where if you are a supervisor and you help someone else become a supervisor, now you're at the same level, so theoretically there's nothing left. Well, the growth bonus kicks in, and the company will give you 2% on a supervisor below you. Now, if they develop a supervisor underneath them, they will get 2% growth bonus on that person, but you'll get no commission on the second level supervisor, but you'll get the points to get you closer to rise up to become a manager. So as soon as you become a manager, you will start getting paid infinitively deep on supervisors, which is incredible. So let's pretend you become a manager, and then you develop a manager below you. You'll get paid 2% on a first level manager, and you'll get paid 1% on a second level manager, and then you'll get just the points on a third level manager and below. Theoretically, what happens is if you're building this business properly, you're advancing just about as fast as you need to to never miss payment on anybody. And I think I only, in the entire 16 years, I didn't miss much of anything on anybody. Maybe once for one month as I was going so fast, I missed payment on one person once because they were like too far down. But then once I became president, I picked them all up. Um, there was one lady, I'll give you an example, that she became, she was a manager. And then she had her fifth child, and she homeschooled. So she basically stopped doing the business. And then, well, of course, I never stopped. So I was working with her and her people, but she basically stopped doing the business. So I kept working with her people. And one of those people 
below her worked their way up to president while she was taking care of her fifth child and so they bypassed her. So when that happens, when somebody bypasses you, you lose commission on that person in their group until you get to the same level as them. So for two years, she stopped doing the business, so for two years she missed income on that person and they just compressed up to, um, to me actually, or to, their, to her mom who was above her. And anyway, so after she got the two years was over and she says, Jeff, I want to go back to work again, I said, great. And we worked with her, and we, after two years, we made her president, and then that person went right back underneath her. Two years later, she got the person back because then she got her next level, and she was at the same level, and then boom. So and that worked out really good. So again, these things that our company does, other companies will not do. <laughs> when somebody bypassed you, most of our companies, they're gone forever. You've lost them. Um, all right, so then, then the, uh, the comp plan, these numbers here um, are actually showing the different percentages. We talked about the comp plan. So basically, it's a stair step where you just want to keep going up, 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 up until you hit president. Once you hit president, that's when the real excitement gets, kicks in. You start getting uh, money put in an account for a car. You start getting money put in an account for, for travel. And then you start getting paid an extra 1% bonus on your entire group just because you're a president. I call it a, um, a profit sharing plan. So the bigger my volume is every month, I get an extra 1% that comes in, 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 my, in my check. So I, I already covered what if somebody bypasses you. So basically, as a distributor, um, oh, there, there's one thing I didn't cover. So if somebody bypasses you, you've got six months to promote yourself to that same level. Otherwise, then, 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 they, then they bypass and you have to, you have to basically, oh, you have six months to use them to continue counting as a leg, basically. So in her case, she was a manager and she had so many managers below her. And then when that manager turned into a president, because she did not promote to a president in that six month period, she had, when she came back two years later, we had to develop another manager to take his place before she could promote because he kind of like bypassed her. And this is getting a little more than you probably even need to know, but it's nice to know that she can, you can get him back. All right. Um, so as soon as she got qualified back, boom, the person came right back in place. So it says, can my downline pass me? As a distributor with a distributor below you, no. As a supervisor and a supervisor below you, no. As a manager, if you're a manager, then yes, a manager could become a president and bypass you. And then as a president, not really. They, it says perhaps they can't bypass you, but we'll talk about payment, like I said earlier. If, if you don't have your own 500 points that month, then you just want to get paid in that president that month. So basically, there's only one instance where somebody could bypass you, and that's as a manager. If you stop doing the business and someone else keeps working it. And that was her case. So I showed you the example, and she got him back two years later. Um, with the people I work with, if they're working the business, I haven't seen anybody get bypassed. Because if they really want to do the business, it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, and I said about the president bonus, you get an extra 1%. Again, 1% doesn't sound like a lot, but it becomes a lot when your volume goes from 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 to 4,000. I remember one month they had 14,000 points when I was working towards president. It was like 14,000 points in one month. I don't even, divide that by 45, and how many chi machines is that? 14,000, we divide by 45. How many chi machines are there? Anybody, any idea? I don't even know. I mean, it was a lot. It was some, some months, I remember one month, one month when we were really growing the business, um, I calculated how many sales had occurred in my organization? $750,000 of business had occurred in my organization in one month. I was just like, that's almost, that's three quarters of a million dollars of sales. And again, it wasn't me, it was like all of you out there or whoever was in the group at that time, you know? Okay, so let's see, there's a couple more things. There's a couple more things here. So this is why I say it gets exciting. 
when, when, when you're present, you start developing presence below you. Do you guys understand, did you guys all follow the level part? No. So a level is like, Betty, you stand up here. Cindy, you stand up here. Liz, Liz you stand up here. So as an example, if I sponsor Betty, Betty's a first level to me. If Betty sponsors Cindy, Cindy's a first level to Betty, but a second level to me. And then if Cindy, Cindy sponsors Liz, Liz then, then Liz becomes a first level to Cindy, a second level to Betty, and a third level to me. Okay. So as an example, if I can help all three of these ladies become presidents, and if Betty is a first level president, I'd make 4% on all of Betty's entire organization. I'd make 2.5% in all of Cindy's organization and 1% of all of Liz's organization. And then when she develops a president, <clears throat> I'd make a half a percent on all of that person's organization. Now, when I become a supreme president, which means I've got three people like Betty, one, two, three that become presidents, and they're each got their 500 points or more, I get an extra one and a half percent on all these numbers. So my four percent goes to five and a half percent on, on each of the first levels. So I mean, this doesn't sound like a lot, but it, when people are moving a lot of machines, it's big change. It's really big change. So thank you for that. So when I was talking about the car fund and the travel fund, basically they've combined them now. Yeah. So as a president, They'll take one and a half percent of your entire group and put it into a, a fund that's your money. And you can let that money build up and then you can purchase a brand new car and they will take that money out of there and give, give you the money for that car. Um, if the company offers a trip and you've won it, it's all free, which it's very easy to win these by the way, because I've won every one since day one, so I think it's easy. <laughs> and, and if people want to work it, I help them win. I, I, I always win the trips based on, I tell the company, you know, make it two ways to win. One, if you just do so much business, or two, if you help enough other people do grow their business. So 99% of the time, I'm winning because I'm helping my other team members win the trip, and then I automatically win it. So for me, it becomes easy because I don't have to do all the work. I just have to work with that. Well, I work hard. Don't get me wrong. I work pretty hard, but, but sometimes I play pretty hard, too. <laughs> like, like, like fishing and hunting come first. <laughs> <Some way. laughs> work comes first most of the time, but when I have a fish hunting trip, you aren't going to get me to change that. I remember they wanted me to change a hunting trip one time to do a meeting. I said, sorry, it's on the books. I've already got my guide lined up, and we're gone. So if you want me speaking, you better change your date. If you don't want me speaking, keep it that way. So they, they end up, they, was, they had already planned it, but they, they always asked me first of all, my schedule is now. <laughs> so what's exciting though is this car fund. So here's an example. I heard about this car fund. So obviously I'm starting to build money now. I really didn't even know. I wasn't paying attention, but all of a sudden I realized there's like $10,000 in my car and travel fund. And I'm like, oh wow. So then I got it built up to a little bit more, and I went out and bought a brand new um, little SUV back then. This was like 15 years ago, and it was a four-wheel drive. And that was my goal, was to have a little brand new SUV four-wheel drive. And then I called the company up and I said, hey, I got this new car. I want you know, to take, take, take the money out and you know, get my money for this car. So I, can, I already paid it off myself, but I wanted to get the money back. They said, okay but you have to send us the receipt. So I mailed them the receipt or faxed them the receipt and then boom, they sent me a $10,000 check. And then, actually I think I had built it up to almost 20,000. So they gave me 10,000 the first month and then I think the second month they gave me another 10,000 towards my car. So then boom, got the first car. Then over the time period, um, my wife needed a new car and, and so I had built up her account to my account. So then we got the company to buy her a brand new car and then um, about a year and a half, two years ago, um, basically my daughter needed a new vehicle and, and my wife said, well, either, either she gets a new vehicle or you get a new vehicle. 
<laughs> so you can give her you can give her yours or you get one and give her you know give her give her your vehicle. Well, actually, I sold it to her for a low low fee, and I I treat responsibility to my kids. It's, you know they don't just give get things given to them. I mean I do give them a lot of things too, but when it comes to things like this, you know they need to purchase that. So she purchased my vehicle, my older one, which was the SUV, little SUV by the way, <laughs> and then I bought a brand new truck, and then now the company's actually probably two-thirds paid in that truck from the volume I got through my, through my thing. So we're on our way to almost have three vehicles paid for. And then about five years ago, because my business has grown so much, my wife said, um, I, you know, I, I, I don't like having you having the business in the home because people are constantly coming in and interrupting family life and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she says, I think you should either lease or rent uh, a place and then, you know, take your people over there. And I just didn't like that idea. And so we hatched a new idea. We said, what if we add on to our home and have a separate entrance? So we did that. We basically added on to our home. We basically took the, had, had contractors come in, take the roof off our huge garage, and then build straight up. And then while the building started occurring, I knew this was going to be my little sanctuary for my, my spa, so to speak, and all my computers and my working office. So on the process of doing it, I said, can we put in a wood floor? He says, yeah, sure, you know, it's this much more, it's no problem. I said, can we put in, you know, like maybe the log walls? He said, you know, real log walls. He goes, yeah, yeah, there'll be the half one. Sure, we can do that, okay. I said, oh, can we put in a, a beautiful wood ceiling too? Oh, sure, we can do that. Well, and then, then we did all that, and the guy says, well, why don't you put in a nice, beautiful um, log railing too? up and down the stairs too. Okay, we'll do that. Well, how about a little deck out the back? Yeah, sure, let's do that. <laughs> so, so it became a total business right off. Okay, so I mean, I wouldn't have done it if it wouldn't have been for the write off. See, at the end of the year, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep that counts. Yeah. So my truck that I got in, in the US was, was a total write off because it was so big and it's for my business. Then my, my addition to the home is, is, is um, all right off. Every time I go and visit somebody and I talk about the Chi Machine, my mileage to that place is a write off. So there's so many different things that you can take advantage of. And if you don't have your in-home business, you can't take advantage of these tax things. So it becomes, you actually end up make more, you make more money than, than you realize. Because if you're working for somebody out goes all those taxes, you can't take any deductions, basically. But if you're working for yourself, there's a lot of legal tax deductions you can take. Now, I don't know what they all are here in Canada, but they're talking to Cody, they're very similar to the states. So there's a lot of things you can take that we can take. Mm -hmm. So you want to take advantage of those. Um, so basically, that's all the marketing plan. Um, and like I said, I won't go into all the details, but once you become a president, you develop presence, it gets even more and more exciting. So, um, and everybody can do this. Just you want to, you got to have the desire and the time. That's all it takes. Two things: desire and take the time to do it. So you have to prioritize some things. Like, hey, am I gonna um, go golfing today, or am I gonna work the business, or am I gonna go fishing today, or am I gonna work the business? So when I was building this business, my fishing and hunting did slow down considerably. Actually, the first six months when I was going towards president. It was work nonstop. I mean, you can't really make president in six months without really busting butt. And because I already had three other businesses before I got into this business. And so those didn't stop. I had to kind of maintain them. But I was able to actually get rid of one and hold on to two and maintain it and build this one. And then after six months, it was like, it was kind of like when you get on a jet plane, it takes a lot of fuel to get it up to the level of where it's going this way. So I, I've, I've been told, I think it's 60 to 70% of the fuel is spent getting it up to this level, then the other 30% is just cruising. 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 That's what I equate this business to. It's like you get to that level, and then it's just cruising. Just maintain your people, work with your people, help your people.